Hey, hello everybody, Disciple here with Overwatch Curios. Now, if you play competitive at all in Overwatch, like I do, then you're probably always looking to get a little bit better. Now, there are lots of ways you can do this. You can do this by practice, by watching streams, or maybe even by learning some sweet tips from the grandmasters of the game themselves, the ones that play this at the very highest level. So today, that's exactly what we are going to do. Now, we've made some map tricks videos before, but today's is going to be focused primarily on Lucio and the cool things that you can do with his wall riding. Now, although I'm not Grandmaster myself, I got together with my friend Convertible, who is a Grandmaster Lucio player. He plays support for semi-professional teams, and he streams and coaches, where you can find the links to that down in the description below. And today, he and I are going to show you guys some of the most amazing map tricks that you can abuse as a Lucio player. N not that one. Don't, don't do that one. Now, an unlucky thing happened when we were making this video, and the Jeffs, Jeff Goodman and Jeff Kaplan, decided to nerf Lucio by removing the momentum he gets when wall jumping off. Now, this did unfortunately remove pretty much the coolest Lucio wall ride there is, where you get onto the point on Gardens on Li Zhang Tower in just a couple of seconds, incredibly quickly. Now, you guys might have seen these clips around the internet or on Reddit, and it is super flashy, but it's actually really, really hard to do even when it was actually in the game, and it's not something that I'd really want to teach you guys because it's so incredibly difficult to hit consistently, and if you don't hit it, you actually really slow yourself down. So, here it is in its glory, and it's actually really tough to get 100% time on it, but there are a couple other ways to get to the point pretty quickly that we are able to do on live now. Now, while going around the right side of the point may not seem like it's super convenient, you have to remember that you're giving yourself the element of surprise, which is incredibly important as a Lucio player, when you're looking for those key boops to potentially get a few easy eliminations and put the odds in your favor. It's one of the easiest ways to win the game for your team, or at least win a fight, which can get you the point, which can eventually get you the match. And it's a lot better than just sitting in back healing up your teammates, since a lot of other healers are actually way better at doing that. For another sweet Lucio trick that you can pull off early in the match, jump between the wall and the pillar right at the beginning to get a perfect spot on the bridge and boop them off in relative safety since you have the wall on your side. You just have to remember to cling onto it for the wall ride. If you're a bit less confident in your wall riding skills but you still want to get that sweet boop, you can go in a little bit farther, however you do leave yourself exposed to enemy fire. Still, look how smooth that is, and you can pull off the exact same thing in your own games. Now, if your team already has the point that you want to make sure the enemies can never come over the bridge, then this is a perfect wall ride to get right over and boop them right off into the abyss. It can be a little bit tricky to get the hang of, but once you do, it is incredibly useful to use every single time you're on this point. Now, by mastering these wall rides, you actually give your team a pretty huge advantage since generally supports aren't the ones looking for the eliminations, but if you can do the job of your DPS and buy yourself some extra time on this point, then by all means, go and do it, and it's one of the easiest ways to potentially carry yourself up as a support once you've already pretty much perfected the art of healing and walking around. Now, one trick that might not always be useful, but looks really cool and could actually save you a game someday, is that Lucio's ultimate actually brings you up a little bit into the air, and it can help you make some jumps that you couldn't otherwise make. Now, this jump from the rock onto the point isn't possible anymore, but if you can't quite make any jump, the ult could give you just a little bit of extra distance that you need to get onto the point. Now, most of the time you want to hold on to your ult for a big team fight or to counter an enemy ult, but if the point is at 99% and you're the one that needs to put it into overtime, not only will you make it to the point in time, but you'll have a bit of extra help to do so. Now the question might be, how do you contest a point as Lucio? You might have seen some really annoying Lucios out there, and I'm going to teach you how to become one perfect. Now, there are a couple basics to contesting a point that are pretty easy to figure out. You want to get as high as you can while still contesting the point, and you want to always stay moving. Now, at most points, it doesn't really matter how high you go, because it's usually always still going to be contesting. But there are some outdoor maps where you can go so high that you're not actually on the point anymore, and you won't be doing anything. Now, of course, the other trick is to always stay moving around to make it much harder to shoot at, and especially at lower levels, you're going to seem a little bit invincible, especially if you toggle between speed boost and healing, so that you can keep yourself healed up even if someone like a soldier or a tracer is trying to peg you. 
In a situation like this on Li Zheng, each one of these walls counts as its own surface for you to wall ride on, meaning you can continue jumping on and off again pretty much infinitely as long as you keep going around in a circle. Now this lets you get height and also lets you get distance on your opponents. But of course you can also jump off onto the pillar in the middle, meaning that you can toggle between putting space between you and your opponents and putting actual obstacles between you to protect you from the bullets. This doesn't just work on small confined points, however, as Convertible shows here making a fool out of me on Noom Bonnie. He can continue while riding over and over, and one really cool thing that happens is when he goes down for the wall ride, his legs seem to elongate, making his body appear much longer than it is, but of course, the legs aren't actually in his hitbox. So it made it a bit tougher to aim at, and there's just so much going on that he can really buy a lot of time while always contesting the point from up on the wall. While you're playing Lucio, try and look for all sorts of places where you might be able to wall ride and contest payload at the same point, especially places where you have something in the way, either a sign or some foliage and other obstacles that prevent you from taking a little bit of damage so that you can buy yourself some extra time on the point. Since Lucio is one of the best stallers and he can be incredibly annoying at the end of the game when you're trying to push in the payload. And of course, while you're playing Lucio, never forget to continuously wall ride to get that extra speed boost and get back to the point as quickly as possible. Even if you don't pull it off perfectly every time, you can still get there way faster than any hero in the game, and it might be completely necessary to either get back to your team to heal them or to get a foot on the point so that the rest of your team can catch up. You also can't think of the map as linearly as other heroes might, since there's always going to be a way to go around back if you have the wall ride. If you're a Farah player, you probably know all about this, but if you're on Lucio, you can definitely have some interesting routes to either get onto the point for a save, or maybe go all the way back around for a bat cap on the payload. Now, Lucio is certainly a team-based hero, and he thrives mostly when he's coordinating with his team for a push or a retreat using his speed boost and his healing to keep everyone topped off, but of course he can also make some huge plays by himself, and while you shouldn't always play Lucio as a solo hero, since you're likely just going to get completely destroyed by the enemy DPS, there's always going to be opportunities for you to go off, make a play, get yourself an advantage, and then regroup with your team to either push them forward or help them recover. Remember that any time you're just simply on the ground walking forward as Lucio, you're probably not playing him to his maximum potential since there are so many other cool places that you can get into to get somewhere faster or to shoot at the enemy from a unique angle. For instance, you can play the height game on Lucio on Eichenwald for a particularly annoying early defense. By climbing up the tower at the beginning of the game, you can get yourself an awesome angle onto the attacker's spawn to either get some early poke damage or maybe even contest an early Farah, since they're very unlikely to be able to do a lot of damage to you if they aren't used to shooting at such a high mobile target. And of course, you don't want to do this every single time you come back to points to take some time to get started, but at the beginning of the match, or maybe while the enemy are resetting and waiting for every member of them to gather a round together, you can just hop up here for a little bit of an annoyance before dropping down to help your team. Thank god there's no fall damage in Overwatch. There are also plenty of other sick moves you can pull off as Lucio on defense and Eichenwald, utilizing the bridges to be able to get an awesome angle on your opponents to boop them off. Not only can you go over the high arch bridge here to potentially get a drop on your opponents after they're pushing up the payload, but you can of course also use this long bridge for some pretty sweet firing action. Now people are probably used to Lucio's trying to get onto the bridge and boop them off, but of course if you use the long side of the bridge and just use those gaps in between to try and boop through the wall, then you'll be safe from a lot of fire on top of the bridge, and of course you can always fall down below low and wall right around to safety if you are under fire at all. It becomes incredibly hard to hit you at all, and although you're not always near your team to heal them or speed boost them, you could potentially get a few picks all by yourself. Now, while you're trying to utilize any wall, corner, or other high position of advantage, also remember wherever you can escape to. Now, there might be some awesome high windows you can get out of, or an interesting roof that you can 
take a little bit of a breather on to heat yourself back up and get right back into the action. But if you're constantly peeking in and out to deal damage, to boop off, and even to heal your team, then you can be the greatest nuisance of all without dying one little bit so that you're always alive to regroup with your team and use your ultimate when it's needed most. You'll find out that almost no matter the map, there are always going to be awesome positions of high ground where you can contest pretty much endlessly and incredibly annoyingly as Lucio to keep your enemies from capping and give your team some extra time. And that's really what matters the most, especially when you're playing competitive and you're trying to get as high of a percentage as you want. Now, although my McCree might be a little embarrassing because I've played all of 10 minutes of him in competitive, you can see that this Lucio is quite difficult to hit and he can contest the point from anywhere within here, even all the way up on top of that statue. By peeking in and out of it, he can keep himself alive until I finally get fed up and just ult the hell out of him. Now I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video on what Grandmaster Lucio players do to give themselves advantages in-game using the map itself to put themselves up over the top. And if you guys want to check out Convertible as well, the Grandmaster player who helped me make this video, the links are all down below. Now you guys are awesome, it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe for future content, and I will of course be here. Peace. This is my outro song. This is my outro song. I didn't want to use another dubstep track, so I grabbed my ukulele and I made this crap. But, 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 but.